Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair, him and Wenceslas's cousin Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? I suppose because it has a strategic position and good fortifications, so it can be used as a base for raids, giving you control of the whole territory and good defences too, if, if you need them. <laughs> Not at all. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favoured it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Where did these Cumans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. So, Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Sir Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad. But I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Good day to you. Can you tell me where I can buy or sell something? Someone to do business with. Well, Votova often gets things the merchants don't have. The last time I saw him, he was by the granary. Try him. He thinks about trade day and night. What do you think about that surprise during the night? I was surprised, all right. <laughs> I'm glad them people was saved, though, and just as glad it weren't Sigismund. For sure, he'll come here in the end, too. But now, at least we got time to get ready for him. Maybe he'll leave Talmberg Bay. Maybe. Maybe not. Could be he was only out to get Sir Radzig, as he's Wenceslas's hetman. And Skalitz is a rich town, so there was plenty of loot for the taking. Two birds with one stone, so he might be satisfied and leave us alone. Reckon we'll see soon enough, one way or the other. Hmm. By the way, Henry, it is Henry, ain't it? I was sorry to hear about your parents. They've gone on to better things. So Divish certainly put Sigismund in his place. You're right there. That's Sir Divish for you. May God grant him long life. Do nothing. 
thing of the sort. Where did you hear that nonsense? Vilma heard the guards on watch talking about it. Nobody's True enough. Going to attack us. Ever since Sigismund conquered Kuttenberg, you can't even trust common pilgrims anymore. There's that many brigands around. And we can always come, come and take shelter here at the castle. Good day to you. you what do you need? Is there someone here who trades in goods? Votover is your man. He's the local dealer. A skinny fellow. I saw him by the granary. He'll buy anything that has any value. And he'd sell you his own granny. If he hadn't already sold her long since. What do you think about Sigismund withdrawing? It was a stroke of good luck. I know everyone says how that Sigismund is awful, unpredictable. Can you tell me who I can buy some? Everyone fled here with only what they could carry, but I reckon Votava the pond keeper wouldn't let even Sigismund interrupt his business. I saw him by the granary. You can't miss him. He's skinny as a bulrush. God bless. Jesus Christ be praised. Can we trade? Is someone there? Is someone there? Sigismund's visit this morning was pretty. And no mistake, that army of his is enormous. Is there someone here? Try Votava. I must be going mad. What was that? What is it? That was a close thing then. If you knew Sir Jivish like I do, you wouldn't be so concerned. Really? It's not for nothing he was made the King's Burgrave in Prague a few years back. If I needed some... Who do you think, young man? Me, of course.
God be with you. That business with Sig. Aye, that was it. Is there someone here? Hungry, are you? you sh <laughs> For anything else, you should see a fellow called. But he can get you just about anything. I saw him. By I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wind. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think... What am I supposed to... Th How should I know? If a town bird... All right. What the hell?
pasamos más. I need to get out of here. You here again, boy? Didn't I tell you how much trouble I'd be in if I let you of all people out? Got you! Jesus, you gave me the runaround. Let me go, for Christ's sake! I have to bury my parents! You're going nowhere. Except back inside. If I don't bury them now, they'll be ripped to pieces by jackdaws and scattered over unhallowed ground. And I'm stuck here, a stone's throw away. All right, shove me. I'll pretend you caught me off guard and I fell over. I'll deal with the others. You just get out of here on the double. Kurva! Fuck my... <sighs>
Got you. Jesus, you gave me the runaround. Let me go, for Christ's sake. I have to bury my parents. You're going nowhere. Except back inside. Let me go. I'll give you silver. How much? Since it's you... That's not enough. That should do it. Alright, shove me. I'll pretend you caught me off guard and I fell over. I'll deal with the others. You just get out of here on the double. I think they've already gone. Jesus.
What's the matter? Come on! No cool. Stop. I beg you. I yield. I'm in no mood for talk. You're dead. A pox on you! Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Get away, you mutt! Get away, you beast! What's going on? Vishak, what in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! You're not mutt the butcher's... Uh, mutt. 
And isn't that body the butcher's? <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her, and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. How did you manage to get away? How do you think? I ran. Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave, and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. See how that goes. And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take them to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. See, a cunt remains a cunt, no matter what the situation. Shit, shit, shit! That's right! Here first. God, how I wish to be gone from this place. But first, I must bury my parents. <laughs> Easy there, boy. You know me. And your good master won't be needing this anymore.
Sorry. Let's get to it. Damn it all. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Is Bishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword, I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Rudd. I cut the bastard down. As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. Well, I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! The games are over. Sir! Disperse this rebel! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck.
Itt nem látod. Megjött a kupa. Mi volt az a kupa? Ezt nem csináltad jó. Ja! Have you eaten yet? Not yet. Well, try to eat something. A big lad like you needs his strength. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo, and talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring, my mate, Wojciech. Kohelnitz Miller had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? It's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make me dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. <laughs> 